This is the infrared remote control sensor that they gave us. Next, we need to add the IR remote code. Okay, in order to add the IR remote library that we want, uh, that we were provided with by Elegoo, we're going to go into the sketch menu and instead of in the in the manual where it says add file we're going to include library add zip library so now we go and we find the zip library that they provided in the smart car kit lesson 3 and there's irremote.zip and we're going to open that and then we are going to upload okay I just figured out the problem I ran into this problem before so um, guess what the Bluetooth device here uses a serial port the Arduino is programmed over a serial port. So anytime the Bluetooth device is plugged in, the serial port is being used. And therefore, the Arduino cannot be programmed with the Bluetooth device plugged in. So, first remove the Bluetooth device, and then let's load infrared blink. Okay, it is now done uploading. So we're going to disconnect. And now when we press the one button on the remote control, we see the light blink on the infrared receiver. So that means that we're receiving the signal. So that's a good sign. Um, now, uh, now we are going to program the Arduino using infrared remote control car dot ino. Okay, uh, we are now going to test the infrared remote controller. So let's turn it on. Place the car on the ground, and we are going to press the forward button. The center OK button is stop. Forward is forward, right is right, left is left, and down is back is reverse. So, do they turn it on? Up oh, there we go. Okay, now the car is on and we're going to test the remote. I'm going to press the forward up arrow button. And <laughs> it didn't go forward, did it? It went backwards. Ah. So, why would the car go backwards? backwards when you press the forward button. I don't know. I think we need to take a look at the code. Uh, 